How do you know that Satan is talking to you? There are two ways to discern Satan's voice. Because as a child of God, how would you know God's voice if you don't know the evil one's voice? Many times you are confused about God's voice because you don't even know what the voice of Satan sounds like. And in the spirit, we are not dealing with the... Um, we are not dealing with a voice like we do in the natural world. You can't pray in the name of Jesus. I block every demonic voice. You can't. The Bible says make every word, every thought that lifts itself above the word of God. Make it subject. Bring it down. Meaning that if you are praying to filter out a negative voice, you can't. There's no praying against it. Because if you shut your spiritual ears, you shut your ears from God too. I want you to understand that. If I say, I, I, you know, I, I, I cover my ears, I will not hear from the devil. It means you won't hear from God either. Because if God is spirit, and devils are spirits too. So if you shut your ears from spirits, you shut it to everybody. So there is no such thing as I bind the voice of the devil so I don't hear it. There's no, you don't see that prayer in scripture. There's prayer, Lord, silence my enemies. But there's no prayer, I silence the devil in my ears. <laughs> there's no such thing. Because the remedy to every lie, because the devil is a liar, is having the truth. Amen. And when you know the truth, and the truth has superiority over lies then lies cannot dominate. How can they live in the presence of truth? Is somebody understanding me? Amen. It will lose everything. It will not even hold weight. But how do you know that Satan is speaking to you? There are two things. One, he points you to the past. Anything that points you to the past is not God. Because God is not interested in what you can't do anything about. So anything that points you to the past is Satan speaking. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. This thing is easy, right? Yes. It's not complicated. Anything that points you to the past is the voice of the devil. How do I know again that Satan is speaking to me? Number two is uncertainty of the future. When you are uncertain of the future because of the anxieties of the past, it is Satan speaking to you. He's trying to be a prophet to make you prophesy by his spirit negativity into your own future because remember uh, there's another one there the name is Pe Pecky Stella understand this anxiety that you had about today. Yesterday you thought you wouldn't make it to this day. But you made it to today and you realize that. <laughs> wow. I was afraid. <laughs> but, but I made it. <laughs> you are worried. Oh my God. How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my mortgage? Oh Lord. How am I going to do it? And the day came and you paid it. You are still not learning. Don't be anxious for anything. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Then tomorrow again, instead of using the database of he took care of it, he will take care of it again. I don't need to worry about the future. God has me in his hand. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is coming. You become anxious again. Ah, uh, 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 where is this? Oh, uh. A demon is speaking to you and you have allowed him. Every victory to set Satan is a big victory. 
Because you are a giant, but you don't know that you are a giant. So every victory Satan can gain over you is huge. Because he knows it is a seed. That every time you are shaken, you will revert to it. And it takes a long time to uproot weeds. You know, weeds grow because of pollination. You don't need a seed for it. <laughs> Just need the wind to carry something somewhere. And before you know it, something is growing that you never planted. So when you think those little thoughts that come that you don't arrest them immediately, it's pollination happening. And one day you just wonder, where did these weeds come from? Come on. Now, plucking them becomes difficult. Sometimes uprooting weeds will cost you seeds that God also planted. Because by pulling them out, something else has to die that never needed to die. Yes. Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, sir. I said, am I communicating with somebody? You're communicating. So it takes wisdom. Look at your neighbor say, it takes wisdom. It takes wisdom. So if a voice is pointing you to the past, Satan. If a voice is making you anxious of the future, Satan. 100%. Satan. The voice of uncertainty, Satan. The voice of doubt, Satan. When you understand peace, peace does not mean your thoughts don't go rampant. Peace is the voice of God. That even when you see chaos, peace comes, you're like, ah, I'm not worried about anything. A thousand may fall on my side, ten thousand on my side, it will not come near me. That's their experience, not mine. That is real peace. Peace doesn't make you calm because of a feeling of calm. It doesn't feel like, oh, I feel peace. Oh. No, those are emotions. That's not peace. Peace is information. Amen. If right now the IRS called you, they said, hey, you owe $10,000 and you need to pay by the end of the day. You become anxious. How did I owe money? Well, I, I, I don't have that right now. I, then they call back and say, hey, I'm sorry. We made a mistake. Actually, we owe you 10000 Immediately you are, you'll be, huh. where's my money? Notice, what calmed your heart <laughs> is they just changed the information. That's good. One information made you panic. The next one says, no, we stand corrected. Mm -hmm. Now your anger is with a smile inside. I, you see, I told you, I pay my taxes. You know you don't pay. I pay. <laughs> I, I pay my taxes. <laughs> when am I getting my check? <laughs> In fact, you have inconvenienced me. I will sue you. <laughs> Americans sue for everything. You people. <laughs> me, I'm still African, but I'm American, but I'm still African. This suing thing is very funny to me. But understand that what changed is just the same voice, different information. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. When the voice of the Holy Spirit comes, your response to that voice determines if you are his. Because a sheep is more concerned about the shepherd's voice than the wolf that is howling. If a wolf is howling but they are with a shepherd, they don't mind. They will graze like nothing is going on. Because they know they don't protect themselves. He protects them. Amen. Notice he didn't say, my sheep understand my voice. Many times when God speaks, you won't understand. 
But when you hear it, it gives you security. It's not about understanding. It's about hearing first. Understanding is in time. Understanding is in Understanding is in time. Understanding is in time. Understanding is always in time. It will always be in time. It won't be right now. It won't be tomorrow. It won't be next week. It's always in time. But when understanding comes, it comes with everything. You will rejoice because indeed understanding has come. But just the fact that you heard his voice, everything comes down. Amen. Because God gives us security. So every insecurity is a voice. That's good. I don't know if somebody is hearing me. That's good. Every insecurity is what? A voice. Hundred million percent. A voice. It is a voice. Whether you want to acknowledge it, whether you don't want to acknowledge it, it doesn't change the fact that it is a voice. Lifting your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord. Say, Father. Father. Thank you for strengthening me. Thank you for strengthening me. To withstand the lies of the enemy. To withstand the lies of the enemy. To withstand every corruption of the enemy. To withstand every corruption of the enemy. The desire of him to destroy me. The desire of him to destroy me has been silenced today. Has been silenced today. Father, you have given me the strength to manage my spirit. Father, you have given me strength to manage my spirit. You have given me the power to manage my soul. You have given me the power to manage my soul. That no lie of the enemy. That no lie of the enemy will exist within me. Will exist within me. Or my atmosphere. Or my atmosphere. Lift your voice and pray.